Yo, my name is Zosh. Yo, it's Young Static. What's cracking, guys? It's Christian from Honda Vlogs. Yo, yo, yo. Vatos Locos. It's Vasile Garage. And you know who you're watching? You're watching Lazy Man Garage. You're watching Lazy Man Garage. And you're watching Lazy Man's Garage. Lazy Man Garage. bland video of uh, Lazy Man Garage today. Oh, wait, hold on, I got a little bit of dirt on my camera. I said, you should probably just take this out. Like I said, uh, we're gonna take off the head off this uh, off this Dodge Neon today, and uh, we're still looking for another transmission. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but as the time goes, we're gonna get this off. I got a guy coming today to pick up uh, the, um, what is it called again, that goes in the front, that goes to the lower control arms, like the K-Tune thing. The traction bar, uh, the stock CRX traction bar. The guy wants to buy it, so he's gonna come through and pick it up. He's coming from Claremont, and uh, that's what we have planned for today. Hopefully, I get some money, and then I can get the uh, the media stuff for the uh, soda blaster that Brandon let me borrow. Thank you again, Brandon. And I'm going to blast the wheels with the soda blasters to get all the paint off, make my life a lot easier. Got a compressor that I, I'm borrowing for it. And then I can polish those out and make 200 bones. All right, so the mount is out right here. What is this bodegas piece of shit? I can get it from there. You can? Yeah. You sure taking off the tire would make it a lot easier though, right? No, I just, you know. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. And just like that, plans don't fall through. The guy who said that he was going to come over to buy the uh, stock traction bar for the CRX tells me it's tomorrow. So now I got to wait an extra day in order for me to get the fucking. to get the stuff that I need in order to finish these rims. Isn't life this great? Ever want to work on a Dodge? I just got two words for you. Fuck no. Don't ever do it. I hate this car. Fuck this car. What happened with this right now is that. Uh, I'll tell you the story about the car while I sip this drink. Um, so what happened with this car is that uh, it has two bent valves. If you guys don't know what valves look like, I'll put a little picture right here. This is what a valve looks like. They're bent. So we gotta remove the head in order for them to change the valves and rebuild the head or whatever. Um, we didn't know that it was gonna be a clusterfuck with a bunch of uh, bolts in the way of everything like you have to remove the uh, plastic from behind the cam gear itself in order to remove the head itself because it's all connected to the head which is kind of retarded so Louise is watching a uh, how-to video on how to remove the head I already have the head studs out all that the head valve cover the sensors the hoses all that's taken out but it's the last like few bolts that are just holding on to it and it's so annoying and it just it fucking sucks you know what I'm saying going down I got the uh, soda blaster like I said thanks to Brandon the uh, what is this thing called air compressor thanks to Paul now I'm waiting on the media and, and stuff to get here and I'm gonna uh, do the um, chingas right there get rid of the ceramic coating and then I'm going to do those wheels over there to get rid of all that paint. So soda blasting is a lot safer than sandblasting. And uh, I'm going to make a mess. So I'm sandblasting these rims right now. Well, not sandblasting, but it's uh, called soda blasting, you know, and like, I just, I don't know. I'm trying to get these tires done and you just, I, I feel.
Okay, so all the rims are done. It's all cleaned up. Letting these dry. I'm gonna put all this back and I'm gonna start working on the headers that I have. Hi, Robert! Hey! shitty wells that used to be here because they used to be like that. I'm going to go through and I'm going to re-weld them myself because I, I think I could do a little bit better than what they were. But they were pretty shit. Because I wouldn't be able to get this open anyways because of the fucking nuts that are like some of it's still like merged together like here and here. So you get a cutting blade. Yeah, but I'm just going to I'm just going to send it and weld it. Okay, so now I'm going to start welding, and what you do is you just literally just give it a little tap and it start to weld it, so I'm going to get to welding right now. Now I know I've been saying this a lot, and uh, now I'm going to get done sanding these wheels. I've been saying that for like maybe the past three videos, but things keep popping up. He says there's no rush, but it's just like, it's a priority thing, you know? Like, I feel like I'm, I'm fucking him over but if I don't get these done, and uh, I, I need a sand these, so... <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna do now. No bullshit, no other jobs, no nothing, just sanding. And I'm not looking forward to it. You know what really sucks, what I just found out right now is that um, there's a rat in my garage and I can just hear it over there by the speaker just chewing that shit and I can't find it. And I mean, like I've never killed like a rat or gopher or anything like that. I'm more of a, like, a bug kind of guy that, you know, I can kill bugs like all day, but fucking rat is in my garage it's about that big about, yeah about the size of a cigarette and I don't think I have it in me to to kill it and which really sucks and I don't want it to like you know invite its homies over and you know them try to like it's doing it again it's fucking chewing on the dresser in here motherfucker I got <laughs> he got shocked so uh thanks to Neo again for this uh we just picked up this uh uh, K-tuned uh, Pro Circuit shifter for BND series. If you want one, uh, the link will be in the bio down below. Please use my link to get uh, that well to help me out. And we're gonna go install it in Luis's car right now because he's super excited. So now we're uh, back at it again, taking off the uh, the, ch the thing on my bob, the shifter. Show me your bobs. You know what? I'm gonna try to convince Luis is that there's these. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try to convince Louise if we could take these and put some C clamps here because these are pretty shot and uh, it'll raise it up. I use C clamps on my EJ1 because uh, those went out. I scraped it off. This is a different uh, exhaust, obviously, because I think I think so because the cat's right there and it's usually right here. But um, I, I broke mine off, so you could use C clamps like the ones that are like this, and you tighten them up so they go like that. Put one on here, put one on the hanger that's up there, tighten it up, it'll raise the exhaust up so you don't get any more scrapage and dents like this one right here. So uh, I'm gonna try to convince uh, Chico Stick over here if we could do that. What are you looking at, fat boy? Okay, so Louise is taking off, what size is it? 12, right? Uh, no, this is a size 10, uh, size 10 spider web. <laughs> so what's the size that you're taking off? 12. Size 12, two of them that hold the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. But it's like a mount right there. It's You're probably cooler if you recording with your phone. Yeah, my phone's dying, so I can't. So with this part, in order to get this boot out, there is a little uh, small doohickey right here. It's a 10. You could use a pair of vice grips. Uh, I think a 10 millimeter wrench or uh, channel locks in order to take it off. Hold one part. Moose, would you stop? Hold one part and then... Uh, as he unscrews it, it should just come loose. God damn it, dogs. Like that. Put the other one next to it. Then this part right here will just uh, slide right out. If my lovely assistant will give me a hand. 
no, the metal piece slides up. This metal piece right here. It's a new boot, guys. Leave me alone. Okay, just fry that up, and then you gotta pull this out. Bing, bomb, bomb. All done. Now, you gotta remove this bolt right here, which I do believe is a 12, if I'm not mistaken. Because we're gonna be installing the new one that comes with the K Tune shifter. Dogs, you're being annoying. Woo! What size is it? 12. Okay, so it's a 12 all the way around. Don't listen to me, I'm fucking retarded. He's gonna undo this and then we'll show you the next process, the next step, or whatever you wanna call it. Alright, next is to remove the boot and collar. Be careful when removing this because you don't want it to rip. It's kind of a bitch to get over, but once you get it over that, you know, you can just pretty much put it on another one. You, you don't want to slide it that way. Okay, so we got it all removed. We have the shifter, the little scrunchy thing that we installed that is brand new. If anybody wants this, uh, give me a DM and I'll, we'll give it to you for free. It's a no-name shifter. <laughs> Luis is going to make sure that these are all tight. He's going to adjust the ball how he wants it. Because I think it's the higher the ball, the shorter the throw, or the longer the throw. And the shorter the ball, the, I don't know. I'm not a proper install video kind of guy. So I don't know how to do this. We're just going to kind of wing it. So now we're going to adjust the ball, put the collar back on, and the boot over it. So that way it's all nice, clean, and snug. He's gonna figure this out. Once again, shout out to Neo's Garage. If you guys need anything, link will be down in the bio below or description. And shout out to FF Mayhem for the shift knob. If you would like a charge harness from him, his uh, Instagram will also be down below. So go follow him, go follow uh, Neo. Thank you, K-Tune, for making this beautiful shifter. Thank you, Louise, for being my friend. Okay, so now we got it on there. The scrunchie's in there. You just got to kind of finesse with the uh, the collar. I'm going to hand this off to Louise. He's going to put it back together because he's smart. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Not smart. You take that back. And it only goes in one way. So make sure that goes over the little lump of the collar right here. No, the, the metal piece. Oh. Yeah, I guess it likes snug in there you know it keeps the boot from moving yeah you got to get it past that little piece but it's kind of a bitch but you'll get it there you go you got it cool now just put it all back in and you got yourself there okay doom shifter Woo! and his new shifter is in can you shine your light you, you left your phone down there didn't you no And that's what it looks like when it's installed. We we just got to bolt them down this, and that's pretty much it. Everything lines up, and I mean, you know, there's no transmission in there, so you can't hear it go click, click, click. But this is how high he wants it, so it sits up right right here. It's very comfortable. He likes it. So that's it. Gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys like this video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe uh, for more content. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Neo Garage. Thank you again. We couldn't have done this without you. I want to give a shout out to uh, K-Tune again for making the shifter because it was it's an amazing shifter. It feels great. Thank you to FF Mayhem for the uh, one of ten shift knob. It's it's actually pretty comfortable, like you said it was. It's, it's it feels pretty good. But everything will be linked down in the description below. Uh, if you want to buy an Activio racing hat, there will be uh, linked down below too. My name is Chris from Lazy Man Garage, and we get shit done when we feel like it. Peace.